welcome to another video. Today I'm going to give you a quick little tour of this. This is a Kenworth. It's a 2000 Kenworth. I don't know all the specifications. I know it has a 475 cat in it and the underneath of the hood is extremely muddy. So I'm just going to do a little quick uh, tour on the inside of the truck so you can see what it looks like inside and all the controls and what I'm driving. Uh, I've been in this truck for about a month now and it, it is just a pleasure to drive. Uh, it actually has an 18 speed transmission which is a little different for me. Um, I'm still learning. I can drop half gears when I go down. Uh, the guy that was training me would go through, there's all eight gears, it's four low, four high, and then you can split them all in half and he would go through every one. And He did it like super smooth. Um, I'm not there yet. I can drop down half gears but uh, pretty good. So anyhow, this is the cab. Let me spin this around. Go. This is going to be the inside. I keep this really clean. I know it might look a little dirty because I've been in and out of the truck a few times. Uh, the ignition. This right here turns the strobes on, which is kind of cool. It's so bright out you can't see, but it flashes all the lights when you're at the construction site. Here's all the banks of gauges. All these the guys that was here before me had these custom ones put in here are all my lights here's the lock all the differentials radio I added this here for my phone air freshener heat and air I got my crate with water my hard hat some cleaning supplies down here I have some PVC pipe for my coffee and water this is what I was saying here about the shifter so this is for low range and high range and then this right here, you can split the gears high and low. So that's what makes it 16. And then I've had this from over the road days. Um, I have hand sanitizer, extra glasses, my pens, snacks. Uh, this is where all my paperwork, I got this nice portfolio, that's our clipboard. And then down here between the seats, this is the thing here. So when I reached out of my hand, this button right here, do it this way. This button right here, right here, unlocks the gate in the back. This right here is the PTO. Once I engage that, I can use this to lower or drop the body in the back. That's how I empty. And this right here, when I push this up and down, that is the lift axle, which drops this up and down. So what I do is, once I'm loaded, I'll put that down. Now when I make a 90 degree turn, I have to lift that up and then put it back down again. And then of course, you have to have your knitting bag because if there's ever a chance that you're sitting somewhere, which basically never happens. Yeah, because in case you actually uh, get stopped somewhere and you actually have a project to work on there, but that, that never ever happens. Uh, this right here, I forgot to mention too, this is, uh, my CB. I had this from over the road days. 16 is the channel that our company kind of stays on. Different uh, quarries are on different channels, but we're just running six to, uh, 16 today. Uh, the speaker on here actually went, because I haven't used this for a while, and I uh, had to buy one of these little uh, external speakers, so that's working. One thing I did forget to show is this thing right here. That's a camera system. So, um, we're constantly being monitored and there's a camera forward. So in a way that's good because God forbid if something does happen, there'll be a record of it. But right now there's a third party company that monitors it and I guess they go from truck to truck to truck. So um, if you don't stop at a stop sign, like 0.0, .0 you can get in trouble. But really, if, if, you're, if you're not a bad driver, you shouldn't have to worry about it, which I don't. Um, the one thing I do do is come to complete stops now. You never really realize that you slow down to maybe like a mile an hour so that's one thing that it did uh, change my change my habits to the better. So which is good. Um, uh, and God forbid if there is an accident, that that would prove as long as you did the right thing, that would keep you out of trouble. So anyhow, time to wrap this up. I have to. We're just running stuff from one side to another today. So uh, hey, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, keep your eye out. There are going to be some knitting videos. You know, if you've been here for a while, this channel changes uh, different topics, but uh, it's something that's very, very uh, interesting right now, something I really enjoy, so you'll be seeing some of them. But uh, anyhow, stay safe, happy Christmas, Merry, uh, yeah, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, and uh, <laughs> we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.